Welcome back, everyone. We have uh, the founder, Jason, here from Treasury, and we're very happy to have him. And we're going to have Duncan uh, later in the video. Uh, but I'm helping them put this together because there's a bit of a time difference and scheduling wise. But I'm happy to partner with them for this announcement. Uh, but without further ado, make sure, of course, to like, share, and subscribe and stick around for more Treasury news. But Jason, tell us what's going on here. Right. So I've been um, the founder and the, the person in charge of Treasury over the last uh, seven months or so back in November 2021. Uh, we started the project and since then the Treasury team has expanded greatly. Now there's going to be some exciting news and changes coming. Um, I am going to be stepping down from the in charge position at Treasury and allowing Duncan and the rest of the team to take Treasury to uh, the whole next level. They have some excellent ideas planned and, and future developments that honestly, yeah, it is really exciting. And I can't wait for all of you to hear about. I'm still definitely going to be a part of a project and um, engage with the community and helping out. However, under these uh, Duncan and his and the rest of the team, we're going to do a great job in the future and bring, uh, bring a whole lot more to the Treasury community and the XRPL as a whole. Yeah. I appreciate I appreciate you sharing that. Is there a reason that you're stepping down? Is do you want to elaborate? Are you, is there a reason you're you're taking a less lead position, or how involved with the project are you going to be, or any one of those three questions I just asked you? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be involved. We're talking to people, still uh, having a say in obviously what's going to happen in the future of the project. However, yeah, there will be a new team that is in charge and, and, and running the show. Uh, reason for me stepping down basically due to me being a pilot and obviously the Australian time zone barely lining up with, you know, any other country in the whole world, it makes it, makes it a little bit tricky. So by having a team that has a lot more time on hand uh, and that can always be around essentially, especially in the peak times where, you know, usually I'd be asleep a whole rest of a crew would be awake so yeah definitely more of a time factor um that's probably the big influential factor in, in the change well i mean in in some in some ways this is a huge success because you've now not only helped to build a project and you've able to um you're able to in inspire a team and now the team is taking over and you have essentially are taking a supportive role that's really that's really admirable so i think yeah. that's pretty awesome and it's uh, great to see. Yeah, they're very exciting. <laughs> cool. Well, um, yeah, we'll hear from Duncan here in a bit, uh, but we'll jump over there uh, here in a second. Do you have any uh, last thoughts, Jason, or anything else you want to say to the community? Oh, I just want to say thanks for the past seven months. It's been great getting to know everyone and um, being a front runner of a project. And like I said, I'm not going anywhere. So feel free to talk to me, um, have conversations, and I'll still be involved. So yeah, it was great to meet everyone and hope to continue our journey together. All right. And now we'll hop over to Duncan. So now we're with Duncan and he's going to tell us a little bit more about this announcement and where we're going from here. So Duncan, uh, tell us more. <laughs> Thank you, JT. So um, as Jason has said, he's announced news that he is uh, stepping down as um well, he will always be the founder of Treasury, but he's stepping down as CEO of Treasury um, uh, and he's given some of the reasons why he's done that. Um, I'd like to reassure the community and say that everything has been completely amicable um, and kind of shed some light on the situation, really. Um, and in order to do so, what would be good is maybe take a step back and, and explain to people where I came to be, where I am today within Treasury which is that I started, like many of the people you might be watching, actually as an investor in Treasury uh, at the back end of 2021. Um, when I realized my XRP wasn't going uh, quite to the moon uh, like I was expecting it was going to go, um, like a lot of investors, I realized that there was far more to XRP um, hidden beneath it in the XRPL, explored a number of projects and found Treasury and saw real potential in it. Um, invest in Treasury quite heavily, uh, research what they were doing, uh, the project, the team behind it, and saw real merit in where they were going. And I have run a number of businesses in my time, running a business actually uh, right now as my day job. Um, and um, 
was really interested to understand the mechanics that goes on behind uh, running a project, a crypto project, um, and approached Treasury, approached Jason. And uh, he obviously saw merit in the skills that I was able to bring to the team. And I was humbled enough to, uh, um, or I was grateful enough um, to be offered a position as two ICs, the second in command, um, under the Treasury project. And that's where really a lot of the hard work went in. Um, on the tail end of 2021, start of 2022, um, which culminated in the white paper 2.0 that we released, um, which uh, the response in the community was incredibly favorable. And it's from there really that we've been building solid ground with regards to treasury uh, on the XRPL. Um, and I think, as Jason said, uh, he reached a situation where his commitment with regards to treasury um, uh, in line with his other commitments with flying and everything else meant that the project was better handed over to people who had more time commitment. And I'm delighted to be able to step in as CEO for, for treasury. Um, the exciting thing is, is I've spent a lot of the time uh, in that time working alongside Jason, also building a team. Um, and we now have an incredibly solid team of really, really passionate uh, individuals who have real caliber and they bring real richness to the project. They're people that I'm looking really forward to introducing to uh, to our community. Uh, some, some of them people will know, uh, some of them they won't know, and some of them they may have discovered through other spaces and realised that actually they are uh, now part of the Treasury um, executive community. Um, and so it's been a bit of a whirlwind, really, um, but I'm really excited to be able to commit to Treasury uh, long term and be able to take up the helm and pick up from uh, where Jason left off. Gotcha. Wow. So you went from a community member, an XRP holder to a treasury holder to a treasury manager, so to speak. And now you are taking over as CEO of treasury. And so, yeah. um, right. so you're CEO of treasury. So does that mean you actually have a company behind it or... So this is this is the thing is um, so Treasury was founded out of uh, Australia with Jason being Australian um, and I'm actually based in the UK. Our team is genuinely worldwide. When I say worldwide, we span America, um, uh, Canada. We've got people obviously in Australia with Jason still on on board as uh, you know uh, dropping into the community as and when. Uh, we got people in the Philippines representing that community. We've got someone in Korea representing that community. Uh, so we are we are genuinely a worldwide um, sort of team. Uh, but the first thing we wanted to do is was legitimise the project with regards to the corporate structure of it. Um, and this is the first big bit of news that we've yet to actually announce. So we're doing it here uh, live on your channel uh, or by means of this video, uh, which is that we have uh, just very recently in the last few days um, uh, formed an LLC. Now, LLC is Limited Liability Company, for those who don't know, um, which is formed uh, one of the uh, company structures available in America. Um, now, why America, given that, okay, some of our team are based in America, uh, but I'm not, and uh, Jason certainly isn't. The reason for it is that um, we have recognised that uh, Australia and the UK and pretty much the majority of the world are in a situation right now with crypto where they're watching and listening um, and seeing what is going on in America um, to then determine what their potential potential cryptocurrency laws are likely to look like. So to all intents and purposes, it seems as though America are leading the way in terms of legislation. Uh, now, 
let's not get into the topic of how I feel about what America are doing and uh, a particular acronym that starts with S, ends with C and has an E in between and how it's treated our beloved XRP. But the fact of the matter is uh, the world is watching and it made sense to us that if we want to position ourselves as one of the uh, foremost projects within the XRPL, that rather than we do it in a country where legislation is particularly slack and it gives us free reign, albeit for a few years to come, we actually position ourselves in a country where the likelihood is that regulations are at their tightest. And as a result, we are having to abide by the strictest regulations right off the bat. And that was a clear message we want to send to our community is that A, we are here here to stay, B, we are here to build something that is incredibly strong, and C, we are not here to thwart regulations or the requirements that are there for projects to run legitimately on the XRPL or any other blockchain. So uh, we're doing it both as a statement, but also to legitimize ourselves uh, as a project, but also a company with a view to attracting uh, interest from investors, both within the blockchain and potentially outside of blockchain with the utilities that we're looking to bring. Wow. Gotcha. So thanks for, uh, I, didn't, I didn't put announcement out there, but yes, this, I guess, is a huge announcement for you guys. So on two fronts now, so now you're a company, you're the CEO taking over. Um, what's going to, I guess, you're going, what's the plan after this? You, you're now taking over. Uh, Jason says some great things about, you know, what you've got upcoming. When do we find out that? So in the coming few days, few hours, depending on when we uh, release this video, uh, we intend to do an announcement where we do a fresh docs of the team. So there's going to be some changes. We are already a docs team and most of the information available on the website, most likely potentially by the time this video comes out, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the new team docs will be available on our website and people will be able to explore um, the talent that is behind there. Now we've worked tirelessly to uh, bring together some of the very best people that are in this, um, in this environment. And what we are very much doing is mirroring a, a, a a traditional corporate structure. So you will find a CFO, you will find your CTO, you will find a CIO, you will find a CMO, just as you would do in the traditional corporate structures. Um, because we are genuinely approaching this as a, an absolutely genuine business venture. It's not just about people buying treasury on a blockchain and hoping that um, things are going to come good in the long time. We're looking to monetize this over a variety of projects that we're currently exploring, some that we've announced, some that we've yet to announce. Um, and so it makes sense that we structure the company accordingly. Um, so that's the first bit is people are gonna find out in time a lot more about the people behind Treasury who, are, who have my back. And I'll be honest, um, <clears throat> in previous business endeavors, what I've learned is that um, you are successful when you surround yourself by people that are more talented than yourself. And I can assure the community that the talent behind um, me in the team that uh, is backing Treasury is second to none. And I'm hugely excited to be able to work with them like I've been doing tirelessly day in, day out. Um, they say that crypto is a land where no one ever sleeps. Actually, I don't know if anyone's ever said that but they should have done. And if they, they have. haven't, I've, I, I, I've heard it. They have, trust me. There you go. And, and we are genuinely not sleeping a whole lot load because we uh, understand the responsibility we have to our community. Uh, we have committed to deliver the utilities that we've uh, uh, published in our white paper. And we are actually looking now beyond those which are currently in development uh, to future utilities. So there's... There's a whole lot more to come uh, with Treasury. Uh, it's, it's a hugely exciting time. Um, for those that are watching this in, in the kind of present or coming days, 
Um, the market has its ups and downs. Um, and we are hugely grateful for the community, those that we know that are holding hard and fast and that understand that you may not necessarily get the quick gains that you might get from certain, certain projects. Um, but what you're getting is you're getting a long-term commitment from the team uh, and from the project to deliver something. And we wouldn't be here if we didn't believe in the project. And it's, we're so grateful to see from the community the support that we've got um, because they understand the course that we're on. Gotcha. Well, I'm sure that this will probably be tagged to something in Twitter with like the announcement of whatever, uh, you know, AMA or something you guys decide to do. So make sure to look for that information. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me here today, Duncan. I'm pretty sure if that's all you got for today, right? Or am I missing something? No, that is it. Thank you very much for having us. We appreciate it. No, nope, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm JTXRP and this is Duncan Glendinning, uh, the new CEO of uh, the Treasury LLC. So go check them out. Go check out their new docs team whenever you see this announcement. And yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. We're out.